Hello and welcome to Street Fighter on the C64 and this was released by US Gold in 1988 and uh, it's, it's a bit interesting this one because there's actually two versions and US Gold released them both in the same package um, so this is the UK developed version by Teotex yes, Teotex, so don't get your hopes up and uh, there was a US uh, version that was developed by Data no, Pacific Data Works, I think they're called. Um, they, they also did the, the, the um, conversion of sidearms and the US version of Bionic Commando, if I remember. Um, so we're going to look at this uh, UK developed version first. And there's quite a nice option here uh, to turn the multi load on and off. So if you'd bought the, if you just bought the game and you wanted to practice it without all the multi load hassle, um, that's quite a nice option. And there's a one or two player option. And uh, let's get started. So the music's actually not too bad. It's probably the best thing in the game. Um, the rest of it, <laughs> I mean, that you see for yourself. <laughs> I mean, it's more like uh, Lego Street Fighter, isn't it? Uh, it's, uh, <laughs> it's just absolutely terrible looking. It's pretty blocky. Um, one of the plus points, I suppose, is the backgrounds do scroll, which they don't do in the US version. And uh, obviously, it's a feature that isn't in the way the Exploding Fist uh, or a Trash of Karate, all of which, you know, games that came out you know, two or three years before this and, uh, you know, completely wiped the floor with this game, uh, <laughs> you know, because it's just utter shit. <laughs> Look at the, the awesome walking animation here. All two frames of it. Um, I mean, it's a tough one on the C64 so beat em ups because it's it's always hard to get big sprites. But I mean, some games have managed it. You can look at Bangkok Knights. That's huge sprites. I mean, they're really impressive. Uh, you know, and the sprites in the Exploding Fist and the International Craft games were. You know, easily bigger than these sprites, and but still had more detail. Yeah. So there we go. We won the first round. So I think there's, there's five countries in this well in this version anyway, and two opponents in each country. This is still the first opponent, you've got to, it's best out of three to beat each opponent. Um, all I'm doing is just ducking and, and just um, hammering the fire button, it seems to do the job. Uh, I never was a big fan of uh, Street Fighter games, uh, you know. I used to just mash the buttons. Uh, but, uh, you know, I do get there's, you know, there's a level of you know, sophistication or, or strategy in, you know, the later Street Fighter games. Um, especially, but uh, it's just it's not a genre that really appealed to me that much. But uh, I, I certainly wouldn't knock it, um, just because it's a genre that you know I'm, I'm not a big fan of. But uh, I prefer beat 'em ups that are uh, more simple, you know, um, and more direct, like like Wave Exploding Fist and International Karate, IK Plus, uh, those sort of games. But even so, uh, you, you can see the control methods. Uh, you know, it's, the gameplay has been simplified to, uh, for this conversion. You know, and the one-button joystick idea. But um, there's not really that many moves available. Yeah, so the sprites, are, let's say, they're pretty blocky and not well animated, and the backgrounds are not great. But it do scroll, like I said. Um, I quite like the music, uh, but it's not it's not as memorable like it like the international karate music or Way the Exploding Fist, but it's it's quite completely done and it does add a bit of atmosphere. Um, sound there's no sound effects. Uh, this is a way to turn them on, but uh, I've never found a, an option, which I think is a big 
no no in a game like this, you need that feeling of contact and sound effects do help. It's, yeah, it's it's not a great game, is it? Uh, it's no. Yeah, you're much better off playing Made Exploding Fist or International Karate, or if you want something a bit more frenetic, maybe IK Plus or uh, Bangkok Knights. All these games much better than this. Bonus rounds. Again, not as good as the bonus rounds and the, the previous games I mentioned. So I went on to the next level, just see what the graphics are like, then I'll, I'll call it a day. USA. Oof. Supposed to be in the uh, railroad tracks of a in the outskirts of a city, but uh, it's just oh, man, look at these colours, they're just hideous. Well, that seems to be working. Yep, so I'll give I'll give this two out of ten. I mean, it's it's not great. Uh, but there's a fairly minimal level of gameplay here, but uh, there's, there's there's some I can detect some gameplay. Uh, but uh, yeah, it's it's not the best ex example of the genre on the on the C64 for sure. Um, yep, so two out of ten for Street Fighter, the UK developed version by Teotex. And see you in the next video.